All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use R, um, the statistical program called R, to model build. Okay, in particular, I'm going to um, basically show how to run all possible models with these five predictors of insurance cost. Okay, so insurance cost is here. Then I have age, the person's BMI, number of children they have, one for female, zero for male, one for smoker, zero for non-smoker. Okay, so I'm going to use this data and I want to figure out which of these predictors are best at predicting the insurance cost. Now, I'm going to provide the source for this data in the um, description of this video. Um, it is vital before you start model selection that you check your model assumptions, okay? So, um, you know, I'm going to assume that model selections here are good, but in reality, you need to do that check uh, before you are running a model selection procedure. It's very important that... Um, you know, you're checking those residuals, that they look like they're randomly scattered, uh, that your uh, normal probability plot looks good, if you need any transformations or anything, that you're taking care of those, okay? All right, so um, save your data in like the simplest format you can think of uh, in a .csv file, okay? So you see how, um, like I'm not writing like a ton of stuff as my variable names. I'm just very simple variable names. Um, and then it's a .csv file. So to do that, press save as, browse, uh, save as type, and scroll down to find .csv file, okay? Save it. And remember where you saved it, okay? All right. Close that. All right, so next, if you do not already have R, go to Google, type in R in your search bar. If you have a Windows machine, here it is. Here's your download right there, okay? If you have a Mac, uh, when you search it, uh, I think that Google might be automatically recognizing that I have a Windows, so it's putting that. Um, but you can also just search R Mac, and then here's going to be your download. Okay, so um, get R downloaded. R, you can write code directly into R, and some people definitely do and run their code there. Um, but most people that I know, and for sure I always use uh, R Studio, and it's just a user interface, okay? So R Studio, so once you, after you've downloaded R, the next thing you wanna do is download R Studio. So just type in R Studio into your Google, um, you know, search, search bar, and right here, um, and then up here it says download, press that, scroll down, and go ahead and get that free download, okay? All right, so once you've downloaded R and R Studio for your computer, um, go ahead and get it up and running. So uh, find your where you download it and get it up, okay? Uh, press new file, okay? And it's going to create a new R script for you. All right, so it's called Untitled right now. If I want to save this, um, say I want to save it somewhere in my documents, I'm going to save it as Insurance Model. Okay, save. And it's going to save that as a .r file. Okay. First thing, whenever you're writing um, your file, I think it's always a good habit to first thing type in rmlis list uh, equals ls. What that is is basically like a clear all, okay? So if there's anything in there that you've done previously, you should always clear everything out and have a nice clean workspace when you are writing in R, okay? So to run that, um, press control enter. Control enter on your keyboard will run that line of R code. Uh, additionally, if you have your cursor on that line, you can press run. Okay, you see how it ran it. Um, additionally, if you forget control enter, which I do all the time, if you hover over here, it tells you, okay, run current line by pressing control enter. Okay? All right, so I've cleared everything. My environment is now empty. Okay, next thing, I'm going to be using a library called O. L S R R. Okay. And this is um, 
the library that I'm going to use to run all possible models. Okay, so if you do not have this mo um, this library, which you won't if you just got R for the first time, you need to go to Tools, go to Press Install Packages, and then here press O L S R R. Okay, and then press Install. Make sure Install Dependency is clicked. If it's not, um, then you know you're going to run into errors when you actually try loading this uh, library. So press install, I'm not going to since I already installed it, I'm gonna press cancel, okay. After you've installed it though, it's important that you load it. If you don't load it, it's not gonna work. So run this library a dot OLSRR. So run this line here, press control, enter, and you can see it looks like I ran it, okay? Looks good. Next, I want to load my data, okay? So load data. Uh, anything after a pound sign and R is a comment. Okay, so this is a comment now. So I'm gonna load my data. It's, I'm gonna call it insurance data. Okay. Um, some people you'll see old school. They'll use like this arrow instead of writing an equal sign. That's two characters compared to one, so I prefer just the equal sign, okay? Um, you'll see it both ways if you look through, like, if you're looking through old code or something. Uh, and some people just, I don't know, they think it looks cool or something, so they just always write that, um, like an arrow. They mean exactly the same thing, though, so don't let it throw you off, okay? So equal sign. Then I'm going to have read.csv. CSV. Open parentheses and then do a quote, okay? Now I need to find where that file is. So um, go to your files, okay? Um, it's right here, but if I click on this uh, up here, it doesn't give me the entire path. Um, not really sure how to get the entire path without like actually going through the entire path. So let me start at this PC uh, then um, my local disk C, my users, whatever user you are. And uh, I think if I went to, so it's under documents. Yeah, so the documents is empty because Windows likes to put everything automatically onto a OneDrive. Okay, there it is, documents here, and there it is. Okay, good. So I want to copy this path here. Control C, Control V. And then do another back dash, and let's go ahead and copy. Oops, I didn't mean to open it. Close that. There we go. Copy that file name. Okay. All right. Now another we weird thing about R is it doesn't like a single backslash. You have to have two backslashes. So just go in and replace all those single backslashes with double backslashes. All right, that should be good to run. So to run that line of code, get your cursor just anywhere on that line and then press control enter. Okay, good. It looks like it worked. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and run my model. So I'm gonna create a variable called model and it's going to be my LM, so that's lin my linear regression model, um, charges. So charges was the name of my, actually, if I see, here's my data over here. So if I click on it, I can see there it is, charges, right? This is the same CSV file, right? It's just now it's an R. So charges, and I'm gonna use char age, BMI, children, female, smoker, all of those to predict charges. So it's a little squiggly line, and then age plus BMI plus children plus female plus smoker and then comma and then write your data source. So data is going to be that insurance data that I just loaded. And as I start to type it, it'll, it'll tell it to me. So there we go, insurance data. Okay, I can just click on it. Now if I run this, control enter, I have an error message because R is very, very particular about capitalization. So if I go back to my insurance data, you notice female is capitalized, smoker is capitalized, right? I need that to match over here. If you don't match, 
exactly including the capital, it's going to say, oh, we don't know what you're talking about when you say female. Okay, so let's run that again. Control enter. There we go. All right, so model. What does model look like? To see what it looks like, I could just type in model and then run that line of code. Okay. All right, so basically, what do I have here? I have my um, estimates. It's telling me my intercept, my age, my BMI. So this is basically the full model, right? This is the full model, my coefficient estimates for the full model. Right? But I'm not interested in just the full model. I want to see all possible models. For example, what would my um, estimate be if I just had age, right? Or if I just had BMI, or if I just had age and BMI, and I just had age and BMI in children, right? Like all the different combinations of models, I want to figure them all out, and I want to figure out which one's the best, right? So I'm going to run, I'm going to run this thing called I'm going to create a new variable called k, and I'm going to run ols step, and as I start to type it, it starts to pick up, and then you see it's telling me what library it's coming from, which is that library I just loaded, right? So this is why you need it to load that library. All possible. That's what I want. ols step all possible, and I want to give it that variable called model, right? All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Control enter, and there we go. Okay, now if I want to see what K is, oops, not J, K, run it, control enter. Okay, there we go. How many, it looks like I have 31 different models here, starting with all the models with only one variable. Okay, so they're not telling me the coefficients, but they're telling me things that, that help in model selection. They're telling me, um, so if my model only has smokers, it only has smoking status, okay? Then uh, this is the R squared, this is the adjusted R squared, and this is the CP. Okay, remember, um, adjusted R squared adjusts for the number of parameters, so generally we tend to use this um, when you're trying to compare models with different number of parameters. Um, you would use adjusted R squared, and you wanna maximize that, and then CP, you want to minimize um, and you also want it to be close to the number of uh, parameters. So if I have three parameters, ideally CP would be three. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I mean, okay, so that's great. So I want to maximize, let's start, start, let's start with maximizing R squared. If I start looking through this, oh geez, it hurts your eyes, right? So is there a way that I can just max, I can figure out what the maximum um, line is uh, what which which model has the maximum r squared uh, or adjusted r squared absolutely okay so the way I would do that is I would type in k um, and then I would do a bracket for and I would type in which dot max and open parentheses and then it, the k a dollar sign to get the adjusted r and that's gonna so this this will find the row right and then a comma to indicate that I want that entire column okay um, or I want all of the columns for that row okay run that control enter and see what we have so this is telling me index 27 so it's right here basically it gave me this line right here right so 27 um, they have Four predictors. The four predictors are age, BMI, children, smoker. Um, this is my R squared. This is my adjusted R squared. And here's my CP value. Well, I went at four predictors, and CP is close to four, so that's pretty good. It's okay. All right. Um, additionally, I could have, let me copy that and paste it. And I would want to also know the min CP. So I, instead of writing adjusted R, I can do adjust, um, actually, if I do dollar sign, let's see what it's called. Yeah, it's CP. Okay. And then run that line of code. And luckily, good, it's the same model. So this, you know, this model selection procedure I just, you know, I'm using here where I basically run all possible models. I'm, it's good that both CP and R squared, they both agree that the model that I should be running is the one with age, BMI, children, and smoker. Okay, so what I would do is, is I would go ahead and copy this 
and write model, maybe model best. Okay. Uh, it looks like the only thing it doesn't have is their gender. All right. Then to see model best, I could type in model best and I can press the dollar sign to see all the different things that are saved there. So I can see the coefficients, right? I can write model best, dollar sign, and I can see all these different things, the residuals, um, the different um, fitted values, etc. right? So you can, you can play around with this and kind of look at all these different um, items that model best has saved in it, right? So let me do residuals. So let me go ahead and run this one. So these are my model parameters, right? So I have, um, and then my residuals. You can see all the different residuals there, right? So you could do some calculations with those residuals as well.